I'm Zeon with Everything Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about every little kid's happiest topic in school. Multiplication, right? Now, wait, what do you, what do you mean it's not a happy topic for a lot of kids? It, it, it is, right? No, maybe it's not. So, for a lot of kids, multiplication, you're right, it's not the happiest topic. It is a topic that engenders a lot of fear and trepidation and unhappiness because kids have to spend long hours memorizing this thing called a multiplication table. You remember this, right? So 1 times 1 equals 1, 1 times 2 equals 2, on up to 12 times 12 equals 144, usually, right? So most kids don't really care for that. Nope, they don't. So, what if there was a way for you to do multiplication without ever having to memorize the multiplication table? What if the multiplication table was useless in comparison with a much better way to do multiplication when you have a pen and paper? Now, don't get me wrong, the multiplication tables are very useful if you have to do multiplication in your head, they come in very handy. However, as long as you have access to a pencil and paper, there is a very easy way to do multiplication with no prerequisite other than being able to do simple addition and counting. And that's it. If you can count and you can add any numbers between 1 and 10 to each other, then you can do multiplication of numbers of just about any size. And I'm going to show you how. So let's look at a very simple multiplication problem. 2 times 3. Now, if you know your multiplication tables, as many of you do, you already know what the answer to this is. But what if you didn't? What if you're a little kid who's just learning multiplication or just learning to do math and you have this question on a test and for whatever reason you weren't paying attention and you didn't memorize this part of the multiplication table but you still want to get an A on that test? Is there a way that you could do this without ever having memorized a multiplication table? Absolutely. And it's this simple. Take the first number, so 2, draw two lines. Take the second number, 3, draw three lines. And then simply count the number of spots where they cross each other. In this case, that number is 6. So all you have to do is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you arrive at the number 6. And that is the answer to the question 2 times 3. It's that simple. Don't believe me? Let's do another one. So let's say our question is, oh, let's say 3 times 4. Now, how would you solve 3 times 4 using the method that I just showed you? You're right. You start with the number 3 and make three lines. Then you go to the number 4 and you'd make four lines. And you would add up the number of points where those lines cross. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you would get your answer, which is simply 12. That is the power of line multiplication. Now, if you're only doing one digit times one digit, it's very easy. So 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. However, what if you have multiple digits? Well, then it's a little bit different, and we're going to show you how to do that as well. So let's say, for instance, if you're doing 22 times 33. So if you wanted to do that, you would draw the lines, but you probably don't want to or even have the space to draw 22 lines and then 33 lines. It would be ridiculous. You'd have to draw the, all of those lines and then add them all up, and we don't want to do that. This is supposed to be a simpler method. So instead, let's break it down and only do one digit at a time. So let's draw two lines, and then let's draw two more lines. We're going to make a space here. Then let's draw three lines. And then three more lines. Now, 
what we have to do is separate this into zones because once you get into the larger numbers you must separate into zones so we're going to have a right zone which is all of the points where our lines intersect in, on the right side of the picture and then a center zone and then a left zone and these are all the intersections on the left side so let's start on the right one two three four five six so we have six here and then in the center zone one two three four five six as well as what shows up down here because that's in the same zone seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so in the center we have twelve and then we have here on the left one two three four five six so six in the left zone now anytime you have and this is where it might get a little tricky until you have done a few of these and get the hang of it anytime you have two digits in any given zone you must take the digit to the left and then move it into the zone to the left and add it to whatever that number is. In this case that becomes 6 plus 1 and of course we know that 6 plus 1 is 7. So now we're left with 7 in the left zone, 2 in the middle zone, 6 in the right zone and we have our answer 726. So the answer to 22 times 33 is 726. It's that simple. Let's do another two-digit set of multiplication using the line multiplication method. So let's take 12 times 12. Now this is a very straightforward one. Many of you who know your multiplication table, of course, know this. In fact, many multiplication tables stop here at 12 times 12. So let's, again, we're going to take this. We're not going to draw 12 lines and 12 lines. We're going to break it down digit by digit. So we're going to say one line. So let's start here with one line. And then two lines. Remember, make a space. And then two lines. And then we're going to do one line going back this way. And then two lines going this way. Okay. Now, the way that I've kind of drawn this doesn't lend itself well to what we're doing. I probably leaned it over a little bit too much. So we're going to turn that a bit just to make it make a little bit more sense for our zone arrangement and then now let's separate it into zones so we have our right zone we have our middle zone and we have our left zone okay and this is going to be very very straightforward how many points does it cross at let's see in our zone to the right we have one two three four right in our middle zone we have one two three four and in our left zone we have one so our answer to 12 times 12 is 144 and if you've memorized your multiplication tables you already know that that is true so this is line multiplication and this is how we turn this kit into this kit armed with this information you will be able to do any multiplication that is thrown at you as long as you have a pencil and paper thank you for watching everything made easy and this has been line multiplication. Have a good day.